So it's looking pretty nice, pretty fabulous. So what I thought is um, we'll do something a bit different because we just don't want to get too tight. And what happens with, uh, once you get to this stage, you think you're a bloody genius. Hello, and um, okay, uh, what are we going to do now? So then you get your little brush out and you bugger it up. So what I've got is a roller. And what I've got is, I know I gave you a list of colours, but I don't have them all. So what I've got is a red oxide that I've just put with white. And what I'm going to do is just going to build up the trees. And so I've put a lot, big blob on there. And now I'm just going to, now bear with me because that doesn't always work, but that's why it doesn't matter. So I'm going to get my little book out, which I have no idea where I put it. Um, so I've got my book and they're only thin little trees. So what I'm going to do is by putting these different um, trees on with the different tones of pinks and things like this is a lovely pink. This is from red oxide and lots of white. I love that pink. It's actually nicer than the uh, alizarin because uh, it's just too pink, but you can always add a bit of alizarin and it always looks, also looks nice with your yellow oxide because red and yellow make a lovely orangey colour. So I'm just going to use these um, drawing and I'm just going to put these branches in. Now I'm going to keep it quite simple. See look, not trying too hard. I'm going to take it down to just the edges. See, not too, because I'm going to cut in anyway. So, I haven't done this for a while, this sort of thing, but it is good for our exercise. So I'm just going to put these in. And I'll put in a bit more yellow oxide. Well, I haven't put any yellow oxide, so that will change the tone. The red oxide and that will get another tone. Now you can use, I'm just using, the reason I'm using the roller is because otherwise it's too tempting to get too um, tight. So if you really look at the picture, there's ones up the back, so that gives a feeling that it's going up rather than that sort of horizon line. So that's on the point, just the point of the Roller. All right. And when they when it's all dry, we will come in and cut in. I'm going to take one goes there, and you can even with this. Why not? Just cut, take a little bit across. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, I love that. And it gives a little bobbledy effect. So this is where you look at the bottom of the page and you've got this lovely effect of rocks and things. And by putting this roller on, look, it's catching down there. I'll do a close up later, but that's looking really lovely. And do little, it's like the light is catching, where is it? The light's catching here. See how it's a little bit darker here and lighter there? Just put that in. It doesn't always have to make sense. It's quite a lot of light there. Don't have any strong uh, hard edges because it's all organic. Once you've got a straight line, your eye actually goes straight to that line. All right, so I might try and see if I can put some thinner lines but I'm going to cut them in and do a bit of liposuction on them so it doesn't matter. So I put a bit of um, that yummy colour down here which is it just shows just how that little touch of um, uh, red oxide changes to the pinks and just delicious and what I'm going to do is oh I've got globs of paint. Oh god, god, ah, the mouth. See? Interesting. Okay, and what I'm going to do is just look at the book and see 
a reason for a line. So the line, there's sticks, and different feeling of um, sticks and twigs and things, and that's a reason to do a line. And then you can scratch in with your spatula to get some line, and that will be different to drawing. So again, we're not using a brush, we're just playing with all these delicious paints. And here is getting really, really yummy here. Very nice. So I'll do a close up later. Anyway, delicious because you know you want more than one bloody layer. I can't cope when I see a painting and it's got one layer of paint. You think, well. Anyway, don't start me on that one. Too much crappy paintings on Instagram. All right. So, and we'll just take it right across. So we'll just add a little bit here. Just because you love it doesn't mean you have to put it everywhere, but it does mean you need, it's nice if your eye follows it. Okay. And just here. So, how different does it look there to there because it's on a different background? But we're building it up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix up a blue and I'm going to cut in. I might just add also another way of doing um, trees. Just like this. So with your spatula and you just wipe it up and then you've got the bark and when you do a wash over that later. So you don't want all these trees to be exactly the same because how boring is that? And I'm gonna, this is actually, comes down to there. Can you see that? In the picture, it comes down to here. So I'm using spatula to bring that down like that. There we go. So trees, you don't want them to be look as though they've just been drawn in and they look too on top of the whole painting and tweet. So I'm going to do a few more lines and another way of doing it is um, put some, get some darker by putting the red oxide and yellow ochre together. Again, only two colours. And looking at the pictures, I'm just going to draw, make it a bit darker. And also you need to look at the pictures so that you don't have all straight lines because trees are not straight. 